Watch us on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast and support us on Patreon. Thanks for stopping by. States need to have the ability to control their affairs concerning territory, population, authority, and recognition. As a country, the people should be able to decide security along our borders, and formal recognition of our sovereignty by other states and countries should be established, and that sovereignty should be domestic, not churches, political organizations, or any other external agent. We the people of the United States need legitimacy and recognition as the sole sovereignty union. The government should acquire the consent of its governed, respecting the separation of church and state, religious tolerance of all people, and freedom of speech. The inalienable and indivisible sovereignty of the whole decides what is good. Enforcement of the law should not be a restriction of the individual's freedom, but a limitation to how that freedom is expressed. We must not allow the factions of this nation, which are divided, the ability to rear up the fabric of the former kind to protect and covet the actions they pursue. Free will cannot be transmitted, and is general, inalienable and indivisible, infallible, and always right. Determined and limits power by the common interest. The general will is always right and good, but its judgment isn't always enlightening, requiring legislation and law. The people though are the ones to decide what laws to make and impose upon themselves. The growth of the state requires the growth of sovereignty as well. In giving more power, authority, and force to the government to contain the people, the same force must be given to the sovereignty to contain the government. Remembering that sovereignty is of the collective being, and one man's order is not law. Sovereignty is the people's unbiased means to ascertain the general will, and there is no law without sovereignty. Through free election and trade, freedom of speech, religion, and private property, true liberalism, equality, and liberty is formed. Replacing monarchy and traditional conservatism with contractual theory. Consisting of democracy, sovereignty, and ruled by law. Confusions of the welfare state and liberalism must end. Liberalism is limited government and individual rights, and it is not a part of the New Deal program that is being implemented in the United States today. No government has the right to violate an individual's life, liberty, or property, because these are the natural rights of every individual. Rights that are given through social compact and implemented in our Constitution and Declaration of Independence. Sovereignty is achieved through the contract, covenant, and oaths, free of subjection by any government, based on the idea that people can exist as a distinct legal entity. Consenting explicitly or tacitly to surrender certain freedoms, thereby, submitting to the sovereignty, and law of the land for which they live. In exchange, the rights they still possess are protected, bound only by their own conscience and personal power. Giving up natural personal freedoms in exchange for political order. This was brought to you by The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It, on YouTube and Facebook. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms, Anchor, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, Spotify. Support us on Patreon, and check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.